this is Trip. Welcome to my channel. I hope you will subscribe and I hope you'll watch videos and feel free to comment. Today it's about apples. Healthy apples. You know there's a, a saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And I think that came from from Wales, which is to the west of England. That's W-A-L-E-S, of course. A lot of other sayings come from, are based on apples, you know. Like uh, in German, I remember, Die Apfel fällt nicht weit von Baum, which in, I hope I said that correctly. I'm sure the German watchers will let me know. Please do. And that means that in English, the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. It's kind of like a, you know, like he's a chip off the old block. Like father, like son. That's where that comes from. I'm trying to time these th videos better. Is this thing working? I have to slam it on the floor. A bunch of times to get it started. You can hear it right. I know it sounds good to the Yeti. Everything does. Winding the clock forward. It's so broken it didn't even... Uh-oh. Maybe this is a bad idea. Anyhow, okay. I'm still wearing my headphones because I... learning how how this works, how the, the Yeti works, and all that. The apples, I think, came originally from Turkey, maybe from eastern Turkey, or that's the center of the, of the genus for, the, for many of the apples. And they came to North America by the colonists in the 17, maybe the 1700s. And apples, of course, are an important place in many of the histories of, of different cultures. For instance, in, in uh, ancient Norse and Germanic mythology and Greek mythology, they found a, a, Norse, a Norse ship some years ago at the bottom of the sea, which was loaded with, with barrels of, of apples. So that they were sent, taking them maybe to the to the gods or something. I don't know. So, apples are also symbolic as the forbidden fruit in the in the Christian Bible, the Garden of Eden. You know, Adam and Eve, Eve offering Adam the apple. Here, take it, baby. It's all right. What could possibly go wrong? Well, of course, they were exiled from Eden. And Aphrodite, the apple, apples in ancient Greece were sacred to Aphrodite. I guess she's the god of love. And in ancient Greece, if you threw an apple at somebody, that was to declare your love for them. And if they threw the apple back to you and you caught it, that meant that you accept, accept their gift of love. Like everything else, the honeybees pollinate the apples. And that's why it concerns me when I, when I hear and read about the, the, some of the bees dying, dying off. We literally owe so much to them, like our very lives. So many foods that they do have a part in pollinating. And growing up in a in a rural area, I remember some 
some farmers who actually rent beekeepers, bees rent bees from beekeepers to put them out by the fields to pollinate certain crops. But I can't remember which ones. It was so long ago. This apple actually is produced in the U.S. About half of the apples come from half of the apples come from China. I don't know how many of those we get, but they do produce so many of them. So many wonderful things from apples, like like a apple crumb pie, which I first tasted when I was in 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 England in London. One of the little pubs, apple crumb pie, and I loved it so much. So when I came back to the States, I mentioned it to my mother, and she fixed an apple crumb pie. She knew nothing about it, had never even heard of it, and she fixed it, and it was just so delicious. There's also other things like apple pies, ciders, and delicious apple turnovers. Sometime I'm going to buy a turnover, and an apple turnover, and have it for one of my my dining videos. But anyway, this cut into the saddle. Why do I have so many ice cubes? It's just good old healthy filtered water. Well, because I'm also on water restriction as of a few months ago. It's because, see, what was it this time? My potassium is too too high. Yeah. So the doctor said, Trip, this can kill you. You can have a stroke if your potassium gets too high. And then a month later, after another blood test, Trip, your sodium is too low. It can kill you if it's too low. I thought it was always good for sodium to be low and not high. But I was wrong. And thank, thank God that we had doctors and I know so much about all of this, although sometimes it does get kind of confusing, as you know. It's good this day, something's bad the next day, good the next the next year, bad the next year. Mm. This is a good apple. See that? Put it right over my head. Mr. Applehead. And there's the little seed in the middle of it. Isn't it amazing how life is? slow eater, okay. It's a juicy apple. I try to eat health, healthy most half the time. them up really with smaller pieces. Enjoy this 
absolutely. Okay. Hope it doesn't slide off the plate. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Maybe knock over my Yeti. So if I put a lot of ice into the glass, the ice takes takes longer to melt, which kind of forces me to deprive myself of of water. And I was drinking a lot of water to be healthy, and for for many many years until just a, a few months ago, I found out that, I, that one way to keep your sodium down is to is to drink less water. I can't even know all the water I want. Isn't that sad? What a bummer, dude. issues when you can't even drink all the water that you want. Thank goodness I'm still not working on the farm in the heat. And I don't have a job where I have to work outside. Mm. like well yeah maybe you can be a, a little silly then not working so who cares right okay sirrah sirrah okay sirrah Big, 
Maybe I should get some, maybe I'll get some that are smaller. Like those little earbud things or the little, the little uh, headsets that I see the ASMR just wear. Good juicy apple. fruit that's enclosed with a little skin, a little red skin. Mm. I think I kind of enjoy it more with my headphones on. It's a kind of a, a security blanket. Maybe it's all very psychological and stuff. Hmm. Well. find a, a nice delicious apple it's so uh, juicy and red and sweet and you can enjoy it just like this one I'll finish this up and it's such a beautiful day I think maybe I'll I need to go outside and and cut the grass or do some edging or something so this is trip I hope you'll subscribe watch videos feel free to comment and I wish you peace again